welcome back to my YouTube channel. I hope you are so incredibly well and welcome to my kitchen. For today's video, I thought I would do a little bit of a week in our life of food. All things food, so all things recipes and foods related. And I thought I would take you along with us. I'm going to prep um, some of our dinner. So I don't often do like a roast chicken, but every so often I do because it's so handy to have all the good chicken for the rest of the week. You want to begin by getting yourself like a pan or a roasting tin. This is the one I'm going to use. I'm hoping it's going to fit the chicken. I've already put some oil in it. That's the next thing we need to do. Do you ever watch like these cooking programs and you hear like Jamie Oliver and he's like a kiss of olive oil? And you're like, who says that? Who does that? Jamie Oliver does. So the first thing you want to do is oil your pan. Then I cut up some potatoes into little cubes. Um, and I'm going to cut up some sweet potato as well and you just put that in the base of your pan. Ooh! Major tip, okay, I'm gonna raise you up. Sorry, this is a bit awkward, isn't it? You cut your sweet potato, like a little slice down the front, then it makes them flat. It makes it so much easier to cut it in the chunks later on. Before I sleep, hear the crickets. I'm gonna add my red onion and a few cloves of garlic into the pan. Salt, pepper, garlic mixed herbs and thyme. So another little thing that I do is that I freeze fresh herbs. So like we got these fresh herbs on like special, do you like when they're discounted and they're going off for like a legend thing. Legend. See if you freeze them, it makes them so much easier to use and it also means that they last longer and you can use them forever. It's a great wee trick. So then when it comes to cooking time, you want to roast your chicken according to the packet instructions, which is super helpful. So normally we roast it for the first like three quarters of the time with the breast side down and then flop it over on dead's back. Now you're about to watch me attempt to do this with one hand and it is an absolute epic feel. Hey guys and welcome back. So today for breakfast we're going to make some oat waffles. So this recipe worked super well. I'll link it down below, it's not my own. Um, but what you wanna do is you wanna get a container or like something to mix the waffles in. Then you're gonna add your three quarters cup of oat flour and all of the rest of the ingredients and just give it a good mix. It's super, super easy and super, super tasty. I added blueberries into mine just because I wanted to, but you could add chocolate chips or anything at all. Let's try. Now, I'm always a pancake fan. Let's put it on a fork. Mm-hmm. They're like crispy on the outside. Absolutely amazing. 
Then on Sunday I used some of the leftover chicken to make fajitas. So what I did first was just to honestly cut up all the veg that we had in our fridge. For some reason this week I mustn't have done as big a shop as usual and we kind of had really weird random odd bits. So for the fajita seasoning you want to add one teaspoon of paprika, one teaspoon of cumin, one teaspoon of garlic, half a teaspoon of cayenne pepper and half a teaspoon of salt. Oh, and I also added some chili flakes because we like ours a little bit spicier. I'll put this again down below in the description box. Then you just want to add that into your pan. Obviously our chicken was already cooked so we were able to do this super quick. Um, but if you don't have cooked chicken just begin with the chicken and then add your veggies in. Then we just placed ours on a bed of salad and as you'll see in the next couple of clips I have a major love for salsa and mayonnaise. Um, I put it on most dishes so we had it along with that as well. Hey guys and happy Tuesday. So today is my favourite day and a special day in the Rollsboro household and that is leftovers day. So it's been so rainy and so miserable here. So yesterday I made a big pot of chilli and that means that that will last us two nights. That's something that we do quite frequently. You know I'll make something and then we'll eat it for two nights and then I'll make something new. I'll take you back to yesterday and show you how I made it. So you want to begin by getting a big pot. I love this cast iron casserole dish we got on our wedding registry and it was the absolute legend of a present. So first you want to chop a red onion and chop some garlic. And then we're gonna add in some chili. We only had a green chili left, so that's what I popped into the pan. And you wanna put that on a low heat just to start to caramelize and get all tasty. Then you wanna pour in your mince and add your seasoning. So I added in some pepper, some paprika, some Worcester sauce, some mustard powder, and then in the end, I ended up adding in some mixed herbs as well. At this point, you wanna get your rice on to boil. And then again, I just added in the veggies that we had left, which were really random. <laughs> so we had some pepper and some celery, and so I washed them and popped them into the pan. With some kidney beans, some tomato puree, and two tins of chopped tomatoes. Ooh, and some sweet corn. Then you just want to leave that to simmer um, until the rice is done. It's about 15 minutes or so and then we served ours again with a little bit of salad, some scallions and some mayo and salsa. As I said before, big love. And we also do these really nice toasted wraps which Joel is going to show you how to do now. Enjoy. So Joel, are you going to show us how you make your uh, famous toasted wraps? My famous toasted wraps, okay. <laughs> so you take a wrap. Oh no. What, what's wrong? It's harder than it looks. <laughs> this one is ripped in the way of the back. Now this is it, you come closer. You need a big toaster, so it's not going to work. Well no, it would work for everyone. So if you have a smaller toaster, just rip the wrap in half. Then what you do is you put them in. <laughs> this is what I call cooking. And then set it to one. 
Magic. That's it. <laughs> oh. It's kind of like a... Oh! Oh no. You see, if it's still like this, it's no good. Are we going again? I need just another wee minute. It's a bit like, do you know when you get the perfect medium rare steak? Yeah. <laughs> no, that's good. It's so flat. It doesn't flop. It's not too burnt. <laughs> the inside is nice. And then what we'll do is we'll rip it into like wheat chips. Perfect. I felt like it was only fitting to finish this video exactly how we started. And that was with putting you in a cupboard. So tonight is our final night, final night of week in the life of meals. And tonight we're gonna make something super quick. We're gonna make a, like a Thai prawn stir fry thing. It's kind of a bit of a mashup of the things that we have in our cupboard. Do, 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 do. Okay, let's see what vegetables we got. We're gonna go beans first, kale, peppers, not all of them, probably just this nice red one. And some courgette because it's the handiest vegetable in the world. So I'm gonna chop up this onion and all the veggies. I'm gonna see if I can multitask and like talk to you and not chop off my fingers at the same time. I don't know what our chances are, but we'll give it a go. But I thought I would just ask like what kind of videos you guys are enjoying. I wanna create content that, as I said in my first video, helps you to breathe um, and that is authentic and that. It's content that I love to create, but also content that you love to watch. So I'd love down below if you would just put in, literally this is really hard because I'm afraid I'm going to chop off my fingers. But I'd love you to put in any like video ideas or any videos that you would love to see. Like that's just so helpful just to know what content um, you love to watch and what content is good to be creating. So we're going to roughly chop this onion. Then we'll go and get a pan. I'll bring this with me. Oliver. We kiss a bowl of oil, you know what I'm saying? We kiss in the pan. And I've just popped in all my veg that I said earlier and I just covered it with this lid. It just kind of helps it like steam as well as fry and um, which makes it that little bit quicker. Then what you want to do is you want to tip out all of your veggies um, onto a plate and then pour your prawns into that steam pan. We're minimizing dishes here today. Then to your prawns, we're gonna add some garlic and some mixed herbs and a little bit of basil. Now, it's a bit random, but it actually makes it really tasty. Um, so if you have some lying around, do it. Or like, as I showed you earlier, if you can get some fresh herbs like on discount and just pop them in your freezer, um, that's what we do, so it works really well. Once your prawns have cooked for a little while and they're looking all nice and shriveled, <laughs> um, then we're going to add in the satay sauce. Now I have some of this satay sauce in my fridge. It's Thai style and it's by Bosch who are two um, amazing vegan chefs. And I'm not going to give you the exact recipe because it's not mine to give, but I will link it down below from Bosch so that you can support those guys, um, whether that's on their YouTube or on their blog. So I've just added in the satay sauce and a little taste of water just to kind of like loosen it up because ours was a little bit solid. I'm from being in the fridge all the time and I'm just going to pour in all the veg and, and then add the noodles and that's us. Rosebro, what do you think? I think it's really, really good. Solid 10 out of 10. I think there's lots of spices. I'm really getting that. <laughs> and um, I think it's a solid 8. A solid 8. 8 out of 10. I've just realized your rocket is <laughs> in the back. That's do you want to explain to everyone why you have a giant rocket? Toy that I got for Christmas from my dad. <laughs> Hey guys, I'm just sitting editing in this video and I realized that I didn't say goodbye. So I just wanted to pop on and say goodbye. Please like and subscribe this video if you enjoyed it. It really supports my channel and I can't wait to see you next Thursday for another video. To your farm, blah, blah, prawns.
prawns. 